Yes, we all know the verb goes to the end in Latin, but what about those other elements of word order? For example, tucked in clauses. How are we going to deal with tucked in clauses? Stay around, you'll find out. So one of the first things that you learn about Latin is it has really odd word order, doesn't it? Um, that generally comes down at a basic level to making sure that the verb goes to the end or looking for the verb at the end. Um, but there are all sorts of other bits and pieces that make Latin word order difficult or odd for us as English speakers. Um, it comes from a particular kind of style that the Greeks developed, the Romans copied, called the periodic style, in which you put together a lot of different elements, squeezed inside one another and put into one single long sentence. Um, the Germans still do that to an extent today as well in modern German. Um, welcome to another Lockdown Learning with me, Paul Holland. You're here because you want to work out what to do with those tucked in clauses. They're nice and straightforward. Once you've identified them, they're pretty easy to solve and they just make your English sound a lot more natural, a lot more English uh, than the Latin that you've been translating from. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at a few examples. Um, here we go. This is what you do with the tucked in clause. Uh, they generally have a comma around them, but they might not have. But they always start with a conjunction. A conjunction is a joining word. If you didn't know that already, they join two bits of sentences together. So they join two clauses together. And they're little words like if and when and although, and at their simplest, they are just the words and and but. Let's have a look at these two examples that I've got. Here's one for you. Um, the Minotaurus quam quam monstrus saibum erat in medio labyrintho habitabat. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got the two commas there, and there's your conjunction, the quam quam. This means although. So with the tucked in clause, you can either take it out and bring it to the front. Although it was a savage monster. Or you can push it to the end and start with this bit here. So what you might have come up with is the minotaur lived in the middle of a labyrinth, although he was a savage monster. I think the first one sounds better. Here's another example. Vir ubi monstrum necavit ab insula navigavit. So we've got the tucked in clause there, tucked inside another clause, that's why it's called a tucked in clause, begins with ubi, that's the conjunction, when, there's no question mark, so it must be when he killed the monster, let's bring that right to the front, the man, that's presumably Theseus, sailed away from the island. There we go, that's tucked in clauses, hope that helps, and hope that they don't pose any more problems to you. Um, if you have a tucked in clause, simple rule is, bring it out and put it at the front of the sentence or push it to the end and it sounds a lot more natural. Good, if you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you, that's really valuable, that's really important to me, uh, but if you could like it and subscribe it, that would be really good as well, thank you. Check out some of my other videos as well for learning Latin and other bits and pieces that you'll find in the playlists. Good luck with your learning and looking forward to seeing you in another session. Bye-bye.